The God Sport Daily Podcast is a podcast presented in partnership with the engineer Charlie Tamelo Dastra Conta Online Academy. Hello and welcome to the God Sport Daily Podcast. This podcast attempts to preach the gospel to the listener and we pray and trust that the listener will come to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. In addition, this podcast also tries to encourage the believer and help them strengthen their faith in the gospel that they have believed in. Episode 32, and we'll be continuing with the phrases in the Gospel of John. And today's phrase is, Lazarus, come out. And for us to understand this phrase, we'll look at a few verses in the Bible. Today's reading is from John chapter 11, verse 38 until 44. And the word of God says, Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb, and it was a cave and a stone laid against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an order, for he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me, and I know that you have always heard me. But I said this on the account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud cry, Lazarus, come out. And the man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with lining strips, and his face wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Based on these few verses, we can now answer the statement, Lazarus, come out. A bit of context on this passage, we see that Lazarus, who was a friend of the Lord Jesus Christ, him and his family, was not well, and that he was sick. And the Lord Jesus Christ waited a few days before he made his way to go and see Lazarus but just when he made uh, the time to go and see him he heard the news that Lazarus had passed away and even when we look through the verses just above in in John chapter 11 we see that Jesus was deeply moved by that where we actually see that Jesus indeed wept at the news of his friend passing away but then we see that he went to the the funeral house and he consoled Lazarus' sisters, Martha and Mary. But we see that in 37, there were some people who were questioning the Lord Jesus Christ and trying to say, he healed the blind, but how would he have let somebody who we love so dearly actually die? So when we read through these passages from 38 onwards, we see that this passage can be used in a metaphorical way, and we can also look at it from a narrative way. From the metaphorical way, we can see that there is death that is coming on, and we are. All, it shows that man's destiny is death because of the bondage of sin that we are in, and because of the bondage of sin that we are in. When sin came into this world, physical death reigned from generation to generation. But this also shows the state of mankind that we are also spiritually dead, and because we are dead. The only thing that can awaken us from our deadness is the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we see that when the Lord Jesus Christ calls out Lazarus and tells him to Lazarus come out, he is the one who is calling out Lazarus from his dead state and making him alive. So we can use this metaphorical language and try to say that those who are dead in sin And once the Lord Jesus Christ calls them out of their dead state, and that is the message of the gospel, the gospel is a message of truth. And once truth penetrates in someone's heart, that's the call out. And when the call out comes, we have to rise from our dead state and become alive in Christ Jesus. So we can see the metaphorical language through this situation. 
but we also see that the main reason why the Lord Jesus Christ wanted to perform this miracle was another way of trying to show the people of that day that he was indeed sent by God and that he was the one who had the authority to give life to any human being. Even the ones who were physically dead, he could make them alive on a physical state. But we also see that this was pointing towards something greater, as we have said earlier, that only the Lord Jesus Christ can awaken us spiritually and physically, showing that he is truly God himself. So when we look through these verses, we see how the Lord Jesus Christ tells uh, Martha then saying that she had to believe and she will see the glory of God. And when they roll the stone, he gives himself towards God and tries to say, I know that you've been with me and you've done everything for me, but I want people to know that you I, you have sent me and I am doing your mission. Maybe people will be compelled to the aspect of actually turning to you in salvation if I come, if I do this miracle. And he calls out Lazarus and tells Lazarus to come out of the dead. And we see that a man who's been dead for four days arises from the dead and now comes alive. And he was unbound. And with his unbounding, we actually see also a metaphorical aspect of the sin that is binding us. When he will see in your dead state, you are wrapped in sin and wrapped in the things that hold us back from being alive in Christ Jesus. But once the Lord Jesus Christ penetrates our hearts, all those shackles of sin actually fall off and he unbinds us from our sinful state and now transitions us into a state where we have peace with the Holy God and peace with God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So when we are preaching through this message, we can take this story of the Lord Jesus Christ performing this miracle. And when he calls out Lazarus to come out, he's also calling men and women in this day and age to come out of their sinful state, to listen to the call of Lord Jesus Christ and submit to it in faith and come out of their dead state and become alive spiritually in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we hope that for the one who's seeking, the one who's stuck in the dead state that they're in, that this is a call to you. The Lord Jesus Christ is calling you. As you listen through this message of the gospel, hear the call from the Lord Jesus Christ, that you may arise from your dead state of sin and you may be alive in Christ Jesus. And we see that through that, you will have eternal life and you will have peace with the Holy God. And for us who have been saved and who have come to that saving knowledge, we can rejoice and be glad of the goodness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because once we were dead in sin, at the point of our weakness, Christ died for us. And when he died for us, he gave us the opportunity to become alive in him. And now we have transitioned from our dead state and we are now alive in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we can say, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. The Lord has done the work that needed to be done. And we can rejoice within our hearts and in our minds. We pray that the Lord does use this podcast to help those who are dead in sin to be alive. And for the ones who are alive, let's rejoice in the goodness of our Savior. We thank you for your time and thank you for listening.